Ah, uh, thank you, my little spider monkeys. Now, after more than a decade <laughs> in System of a Down, he's got a brand new solo CD. Please welcome Serge Tonkin. Welcome Thanks. to the sauce. Thanks. Good to see you. It's been Good a long time you, since brother. we yeah. talked. Absolutely. We've been chatting downstairs, and now we're going to talk about Elect the Dead. <laughs> Your new, solo, well your new solo album, and I want to ask, as you write songs, where do your songs come from? Are there things you've been working on for a while, or do you approach something uh, when you're going to record an album uh, like from the get-go? Like, you have nothing, you want to start fresh. Um, I've, I've had some, some of these songs for a long time. I, I generally, uh, I have probably four or five hundred tracks I've never released, and you know, all sorts of music, from electronic to jazz to experimental mm -hmm. to rock to pop to goth to punk, whatever. Um, classical pieces with pianos and strings, like all sorts of stuff. Some of it I use for, you know, video games. Some of it I use for uh, right. film scoring. And mm -hmm. these were songs that I really wanted to sing on. And they were classically written songs, either on uh, acoustic guitar or piano, you know. And then I kind of layered them and, and started to see that, you know, originally I didn't even know I was making a rock record. And uh, how could you not know you were making a rock? Well, record? I mean, because the songs are, are on piano and acoustic guitar, they could kind of go either way. You know, you could go symphonic with it, you could yeah. go dub, you could, you know. But when I started arranging them and doing the drums, I realized, like programming the drums, I realized, okay, yeah, I think this could use the dynamics of some of the rock instruments. So it turned out to be more of a rock record than I anticipated to be. And, and since these were rock songs, they weren't, these weren't songs that you wanted to bring to the table of System of a Down? Well, some of them, some of them I wrote last year, so it was, okay. you know, after we had taken a hiatus, but some of them were from way back, and it's hard to tell because it's all, it all depends on how you arrange it, you know, you, I have so much music that bringing in a song on piano doesn't necessarily, you know, you don't necessarily know if it's going to work with right. System or not, and plus there's uh, such a funneling process with System, there's so much material. Yeah. I mean, our last two records are double oh, records, I so know. it's like, and, and, <laughs> and we had more stuff we wanted mm -hmm. to bring in, so it was, it was just like, you know, this was a good way. I'm, I'm trying to find ways to release my music in, in more than one avenue, and this was a great way of doing it for me. Just put it all out there. Now let's talk about let's, let's talk about the tour. Yeah, you're you're going out, and uh, who's going to be supporting you on this tour? Well, uh, Tom Morello with the Night Watchman is going to be supporting some of the shows. <laughs> no, it's not really Tom Morello. It's the Night Watchman. It's the Night Watchman. Um, and uh, we've got uh, Fair to Midland, one of the bands yes, on yeah. Surgical Strike. Mm -hmm. They're a great, great progressive rock band, and uh, they'll be supporting a couple of our shows on the West Coast. And then we're going to Europe to uh, support the Foo Fighters in the UK. Oh, wow. And a bunch of our own dates with Fair to Midland um, in, in some of the other European countries. That's going to be fun with Foo Fighters. Now, yeah. let's talk about the video for Empty Walls. Yep. Uh, this, uh, what are you trying to say with this? It's so subtle. <laughs> so subtle. All Hello, these Steven. All these kids and then things going on in there. Like, like uh, well, you know what? Let's discuss it after we watch it. Let's take a look at the first video from Elect the Dead. This is Empty Walls. There you go, Empty Walls from Serge Tonkin. We have you right here to discuss that yes, video. Sir. Now, how did you come up with all the ideas and all the, the inherent symbolism of it and uh, the idea to use children? Well, it was actually the director, Tony Petrosian's idea. It was his treatment, and that's what I liked about it. He was, um, you know, he used these uh, kind of uh, examples of real serious situations mm -hmm. in life interact with children interacting through them in an innocent way in a very uh, uh, kind and innocent way. And, uh, and, and the thing that it leaves me with, no matter what you wanna, you know, the Abu Ghraib uh, part or mm -hmm. the Twin Towers part, whatever, whatever part that you're resembling it to and looking at it, what, makes, what it makes me feel is that we're all children when we're born. Uh, obviously, we're all babies when we're born. We're all innocent. We're all these beautiful, supreme beings when mm -hmm. we're born. And how could we grow up to do harm? Like, yeah. how could these kids grow up to do those things, whatever side you're on of whatever war or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. It just, that's the overwhelming feeling. And it was great shooting the video with all these kids. I mean, at one point I was on the little toy piano playing and singing, and they were running around me playing war, bubbles flying, balls flying, like there was, it was just chaos. And I was like, it felt so great. Yeah. It's that, great. Like, yeah. this is cool, this is my job. Yeah, I love that. All right, we're not it's through awesome. with you just yet. We're gonna go have some uh, commercials play, which is always fun, and the sauce will return in a few minutes with Serge Tonkin. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to The Sauce. I'm here with musician, activist, and VIP sauce guest, VIP Serge sauce. Tonkin. You're a very important guest here, sir. I'm a very important sauce person. And uh, we learned how important you are by the Ultimate Surge interview. Oh, yeah. And this was shot by, well, a, a large team of people uh, with, with a lot of similar facial hair to you. Yes. Um, it's, it's 
it's it's hilarious. Well, who came up with this idea? We're gonna show a clip from it, and it's Serge interviewing and producing yourself. <laughs> You're playing all the roles. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the whole idea was we uh, we wanted to do an EPK, an electronic press kit. Yes. You know, which bands mostly do, and I remember doing this with System of a Down in the early days. Four of us were on a couch, and there was this guy that we didn't know with a video camera asking us these questions, and we're like, "Is this guy?" You know, and uh, I get that all the time. <laughs> So we, so this time around, I'm like, let's do, let's do something funny, let's do something different. And, and my manager actually came up with the idea and said, hey, you're doing all these things on the record. Why don't you just play a schizophrenic? Fair enough. Yeah. That's easy for a rock star. Let's take a look right now. Here's a clip <laughs> from the Ultimate Surge interview. You recorded this record in your own home studio, right? How was that experience? You know, having your own studio is the best thing for a musician. And, being able to go in when you're inspired and and write, create, play different uh, layers of the music. It's, it's the best way to go, you know? Again. That was great, Serge. Let's do it one more time, huh? All right. The, the fact that the, the producer's on his Blackberry and would just say, again, and then the engineer has to translate that yeah, to yeah. make you feel good about yourself. Oh, that, it, it's awesome that I didn't even know I knew all these dynamics, but over time, I guess I've kind of just gotten a lot of funny things in my head, and the producer is very succinct and very, okay, do that again, you know, kind of thing. And the engineer's like, that was great, you know, it was genius. Now let's try it this way. It's, it's, he's just really translating it and making the, coaxing the ego of the artist kind of thing. It's really, really funny. And fans can, fans can find it online. Yeah, they can find it online on our, on our MySpace page. It's all over it's the place. Whole, you have to watch it. Now the, store, the tour starts tomorrow in Chicago, mm -hmm. and uh, you're starting out at, at small venues. Do you like yep. playing the more intimate shows as opposed to like the bigger venues with systems? You know, sound-wise, it's always better. You know, the uh, intimacy of the audience, it's always better. You know, uh, bigger shows are cool just because you get a huge amount of energy from all these mm -hmm. people all at once. It's like uh, an another type of rush. Pros and cons. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, is uh, you're going to be bringing some Axis of Justice stuff out with you on the tour? Uh, we are talking about that, doing some last-minute tabling with Axis and mm -hmm. bringing in different non NGOs, non-governmental organizations. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Tom's going to be doing yes. some, Tom Morello and the Night Watchman are doing some of these shows, so it's going to be fun. That's yeah. going to be fun because you're both there like as the bosses and organizers and then you're also performing as well. Yeah, we're the employees and the bosses at the That's same time. That's good, you can have a nice little symposium. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sounds great. Serge, it is always a joy having Likewise, you come by with you. This is Thank great, you. man. Thank Go out and grab uh, Lek the Dead, Serge Tonkin's solo record. It's going to be in stores October 23rd. We're going to send it right now over to Holly and Jared. i got to get the hell out of here. I'm going to go to a movie screening, so I'm going to see you guys later. Be well. Woo.